If you don't listen, they gonna put y'all back in chains. No, no, Master Joe. Not the chains, Master Joe. Anything but the chains, Master Joe. Not the chains, Master Joe. Joe Biden hitting the campaign trail. Going to find the black women voters. Where you gonna find them, Joe? Oh yeah, I'm gonna find them on church. Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Glory. Glory. Joe Biden has crawled once again back into the arms of the black church. And for what? For votes. Particularly from whom? From the black woman. And why is that? Because most of the black men are not in the church. You probably find them in the prison somewhere, in the prison somewhere, in the prisons somewhere because of the uh, because of Joe Biden's um, politics and his policies. But that doesn't stop the black pastor from saying, come on down, brother Joe. You've done such good work in the community for the blacks. Look at the black community, Joe. Look at what you've done. You know, we're unique in all the world, America. We're the only country that is formed not based on ethnicity, based on geography, based on an idea, an idea. And I mean it sincerely, the only country in the world, an idea we've never lived up to, we've never walked away from. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, life, liberty, etc. It's an idea that we can't abandon, and some want to see it abandoned. That's the power, as I was saying, the Rev outside before he invited me in. That's what the black church has done for American, black Americans for their, I mean, imagine what would have happened if there'd been no black church all this period of darkness. Well, you give us a mountaintop, you give us a promised land, you give us a dream and a faith that we shall overcome, we can overcome. You know, and you push us toward a more perfect union. You really do. To bend the arc of the moral universe toward justice together. And what a gift to the nation and the world you've been. Seen that? Heard that? Good. The Black Church. It gives us a dream. It gives us ideals that we can overcome just about anything. Look at what the black church did for history. If it wasn't for the black church, we would not have abortion on demand the way we do. The black church supports abortion on demand. If it wasn't for the black church, we would have fathers in the homes the black church supports these young boys hanging out on the street, clocking every day, hanging out with their pants, hanging down to their butts, just hanging out, shooting each other morning, noon, and night. The black church is on board with it because if the black church wasn't on board with it, it would not be happening. So we are grateful for the black church and what role it plays in the demise of the black people and the demise of the black family. Now, another thing that the black church has done is that we have the black pastors. These are men. They are men of valor, men of, men of corruption, eh? men of the cloth and of the world. If it wasn't for them talking to the black woman, telling the black woman, how they're supposed to vote and how they're supposed to think. It's the black man in the black church. We owe everything to them because if it wasn't for the weakness of the black men in the church, if it wasn't for the weakness of the black church, the black people might be in a different boat. But because this is what it is, they are in a sinking ship. And I'm going to jump off. I'm going to jump off right now. I'm going to jump off right now. We've come to the end of this Joe Biden shit show. Thank you for joining me. God bless you and keep you. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in another video. Trump 2024. That false pastor trying to gaslight you, him and Joe Biden. Go on and find you another church. Go and find you another pastor. Go find you another preacher. Friend, if you enjoyed that segment of the episode, click right here to enjoy the full episode.